I'm going to talk about how to assemble, put together this funny little shape called a sphericon. Uh, it has sort of an odd look to it, but the most endearing thing about it, I think, is the way that it wobbles when it's tapped. There it goes. <laughs> Kaboom. So it's made out of, the shape of it is made from circles. According to my friend Nick Pantalone, this sector of a circle is 127.3 degrees. Uh, there's a few places, including my blog, that you can download this, download a uh, template for it. So the first thing you want to do is download a template. I recommend doing it um, on a heavy paper. You can use regular copy paper. But they don't the, the copy paper ones just don't roll roll as nicely. They look good, but they don't roll as nicely. I'm using 67 pound cover weight paper that I get at Staples. So first thing you want to do is cut it out, and I'd say um, let's say cut it out, kind it out kind of roughly, meaning to go over the curves, the easy parts, uh, precisely, but then. Uh, just make a curve around the triangles, these little teeth. Don't worry about cutting off the tips. The tips aren't so important. Now here's the first big tip um, for cutting out the little teeth. Instead of, instead of cutting back and forth like this, which takes quite a while and is not very pleasant, just keep your scissors pointing in the same direction and move the paper around to meet it. Now, um, you don't have to be terribly precise about this. The, the only place you need to be precise is you want the cut to end right there on the curve. So then after you've done all of these, just turn it around and do the same thing on the other side until you've got all the teeth cut out, like this one. So now what you want to do is these places where the lines are and right here on the curves there's going to be folds there so I'll, I recommend making score lines. Score lines basically are lines that are pressed into the paper so I put something kind of cushy underneath it like newspaper or catalog or this pile of papers and I press hard so I make this pushed in line and there we go. This one, this pen has ink in it. If you don't want any other image, try, try to find a, if you don't want any other marks on your Sphericon, use a pen that is run out of ink. There we go. I've, I've already done it on all of them and I can check because I can see the pressed in lines from the back. At this point, go ahead and make your folds. So that part will be done and out of the way. Okay, press all of these down. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, applying adhesive. Uh, if you tape this together, it's not going to roll nicely. It'll look fine, but it's just not going to roll because you need you need this this clean edge for it to roll, sort of the sharp edge for it to roll, and you just can't get that with tape. Uh, white glue, you just have to, it just takes a long time for it to dry and you have to sort of hold it in place. So I, what I use is double-sided adhesive. Uh, you can use double-sided tape. I was using glue dots for a while because you can stretch them along here and not use a lot of glue dots. Uh, what I'm using these days is these adhesive lines. It's like a glue dot except it's a line of glue. And so here they are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these adhesive on in a sort of an unusual way. So I'm going to press down where I want it to go, just on the one point. And look, I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to stretch it all the way. Oops, I let it go a little too soon. There it goes. and get it down all the way here 
and I'm not going to uh, glue it together just yet. I hope you can see that this edge is going to go to that edge. It's really the only place it can go. Instead, before I do that, I'm going to put the adhesive on all the places that I want the adhesive. Because this is like the easiest time to put it on. And again, I'm going to press down where I want it to begin. Pull it up. And do what I can to stretch along about half of this curve. Now it doesn't matter if this is not on the whole triangle. What you basically need it on is the edge of those little those little teeth. This one's giving me a hard time. I'm going to start over with it. So these these things, these, this Spherecon, it isn't one of those things like, oh, it's a complicated thing, and here, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, these aren't easy. These are not easy to do. You do. I don't really recommend doing these with young children at all because there's too many places where it could just get too frustrating. That one went on beautifully. I'm just going to pull it away from the edge a little bit. Most people who have sphere cons, I think they use, get them that have been 3D printed. Uh, I like trying to make things that, that people usually 3D print out of paper. This is definitely one of the peskier things that I've tried to create out of paper that don't seem to, uh, the paper doesn't seem to be the most obvious choice. Okay, now the important part is not to like set this down at all or touch any of the places that have the glue on them already, that have the adhesive on them. Okay, first thing I generally do is put together this line. And then you can press it in place. There it goes. Now it's already this funny little shape. And now this is like assembling, which always reminds me of assembling the hull of the USS Enterprise. Now here, I can if I want to squeeze down, because I can still get in there and push it, push it back. Just a little at a time. And this is going together nicely. Okay, there's the one side. Yay. Okay. Now for the other side. And you got to be patient and focus. That's why. Uh, doing this with little kids might be kind of frustrating. Doing it with big kids might be frustrating. Doing it by yourself might be frustrating. But it's a nice thing to do. 
If I use it, if I want to use this as an ornament, I'll just put a needle and thread through it somewhere. And then if I want to make it roll, I'll just cut off the needle and thread, make it roll a few times, and then uh, put another string through it. Okay, there it is. It's my little spare time. Okay, let's see if you wobble. Very nice.